get it done. Right. So, uh, where is our SQL Server? Correct. Okay. Um, participants done. Okay. So you you have to tell what kind of backup it is, and uh, we are we are discussing about backup strategy, right? So usually. Uh, daily also we can take the full backup okay so it's not like a issue there is a strategy okay people will will choose different strategies depends upon their applications criticality and all okay if it is very critical applications like banking applications they will take the uh, daily full backup they will take the full backup on daily basis if it is normal applications and all sometimes they are going to take weekly full backups okay either they will go for daily full backups or weekly full backups guys Okay, any of the strategy they are going to follow. For one application, they will go for daily full backups. For other application, they will go for the weekly full backups. Okay, so it's it's completely depends upon their uh, okay uh, requirements, guys. So usually in the organization, we are going to take the backups either on daily basis or weekly basis. We means we are going to automate it. Okay, the jobs are going to take the backups on daily basis or on weekly basis guys okay so this is important so backup strategy i'll explain as of now full backup strategy is either weekly full backups or daily full backups okay so we have again differential backups we have again log backups they will ask us what is your backup strategy means we have to tell when you are going to take the full backups when we will take the differential backup when we will take the log backups they will ask us so based on that we have to okay give the answer guys usually in the organization weekly full backups daily differential backups every 15 minutes log backups will be there weekly full backups daily differential backups every 15 minutes log backups will be there okay this is the common 90 80 percentage okay uh, the same format will be there in all the organization weekly full backup daily differential backup they will take and uh, every 15 minutes okay we'll take the log backups remember this backup strategy all right let's go to the server so here if you see what kind of backup i want to take full backup i want to take if you want to take copy only full backup you have to simply select this option that's it as of now we don't take copy only we'll take only full backup guys so to which location i want to take the backup whether you want to take the whole database backup or you want a specific file backup you can you can select a specific file also if you choose it will ask us if you choose this option it will ask us which file you want to take the backup mdf file or ldf file which file you want to take the backup okay you can choose here if you have multiple files you can choose a specific file and you can take the backup that is called file and file group backups as of now i'll take the full backup why because without having full backup i cannot take any backup okay so select make sure database will be selected by default so make sure it was selected database okay so next to which location i want to take the backup it is very important guys to which location i want to take the backup okay so i want to take the backup to the any location you can mention the location guys make sure you have proper permissions on the location okay or make sure you are a sysadmin okay so that we can take the backups just a minute Just a minute, guys. right okay so to which location i want to take the backup i have to mention the path right to which location i want to take the backup i have to mention the path right so here click on add to which location you want to take the backups click on this browse button and whether you want to take it for c drive whether you want to take it for d drive which location you want to take the backups you have to mention the you have to select the path okay you have to select the path i'll take the backup to the default location c program files this is the default location guys microsoft sql server in that instance root directory in that ms sql folder in that backup folder will be there by default this is the path you will get this backup folder when you install the sql server guys you will get these folders okay so i have to give the file name right without having file name how can i take the backups so while giving the file name make sure okay 
so you don't give any file names like i love you daddy i love you mummy okay uh, we, we have different different uh, names right uh, pet names and also don't give those kind of names make sure you are following some standards in giving the names okay so which database you are taking the backup flipkart okay what kind of backup you are taking i'm taking full backup on what date you are taking this backup? I am, I am taking this on 12th April 12-04-2022. The backup extension is .bak guys. .bak. Okay. .bak is the full backup extension. Okay. Just click OK. Done. Just click OK guys. So this is the file name. Okay. Means your Flipkart database will be backed up with this file name guys. With this file name. You can see here. Means you are not only taking the backups not for your personal purpose you are taking the backups that is for team that is for team so they should understand if you are not in the shift if other dba is in the shift they should understand by using the file name okay chalo this is flipkart database full backup they took this backup on 12th april 2022 might be if you see this backup next year you might think okay this is the last year full backup right so i don't i'm not using i can delete it okay so uh, but you you are, you are if you if you rename like uh, if you took the name if you took the full backup with the different names okay so it might create confusion which database backup it is so don't include your names don't include pet names and all don't include some silly names and all try to include your database name type of backup on what date you are taking the backup and the extension is .bak for full backups okay so media options here listen carefully so actually here nothing to discuss but you have to know one thing okay so if you see here overwrite media append to the existing backup set if you see here there is an option called append to existing backup so now i am going to take this full backup to the c program files microsoft sql server instance root directory and under instance root directory we have ms sql folder under ms sql folder we have backup folder i'll show you okay so to this location i am going to take the backup program files microsoft sql server instance root directory ms sql under here there is a backup folder okay this is the default location guys okay so um, here i want to take the backup right this is the path right Imagine I took the backup with this name guys. What is the name? Flipkart underscore full underscore 12 4 2022 dot BAK. So a file is created. Imagine as of now I didn't take the, any backup. But imagine the file is created. When you just click OK automatically a full backup will be created. Okay. So in this location. Can I take the same database backup in the same location with the same name? Is it possible? The file name is no. flipkart full 12.4.2020.bak. Here it will be created when I click OK. Okay. Next time I am going to take the full backup again with the same file name to the same location, to the same path. So is it possible? Can I take the backup with the same file name in the same location? Not possible. Can I create, if, if, if you see on my desktop, there are a lot of files on my desktop. Can I create again one more file? Okay. On the, on the desktop with the same name or... Can I create one more folder with the Don't same write. name? Overwrite. Okay. Sir, it will ask us. It will ask us. Okay. So yeah. it will ask us if I'm trying to create one more tick, one more file with a tick, tick name, it will ask us. That file is already there. So let's let's try to create this file. Okay. Control C. Notepad, I want to save. Okay. Windows R, Notepad, Control S. Okay. I want to save this on desktop. Desktop. I'm, I'm just giving the same name save what is asking performance second dot text is already exist do you want me to replace if i click yes it is going to be deleted and it will be recreated agree everyone everyone knows this right yes, so in the yes, same yes. way yes. can i take the full backup to the same location with the same file name is it possible Can I take it, guys? Possible, but replace it. Okay. So that decides this option, guys. Media options. Okay. That is possible. Okay. You can take the backup with the same name. Okay. But 
whether it wants to be replaced or appended will be decided here okay append means what append means already a full backup file is there to the same file one more full backup file will be attached appended added appended means added so it won't overwrite like this earlier when i create performance check-ins file on the desktop it is asking us do you want me to overwrite if we select yes it will overwrite it will delete the old file it will recreate the new file okay but in the in the sql server by default it is going to be appended guys it won't overwrite to the same file if you give the same file name i am saying if you give the different file name if you add one one or two or something just an extra character if you add the file name will be different so no issues new file name will be created but same file name if you give means by default it will be appended it won't be overwrite guys if you want to overwrite you have to choose this option then the old backup file will be deleted and the new backup file will be created is it clear but by default it will be appended it won't be overwrite okay i'll show you the example okay so as of now there are no files here right let me let me click okay that's it guys append overwrite all existing and also remaining all those things we don't use it so backup options backup this is called backup set one backup file name is called a backup set i'll show you once it was created okay you have to know the difference between a backup set and a media set okay backup set media set media set okay so I, i'll show you the difference and compression guys compression do you want compression or not and backup set will expire description we don't want to give any description backup set will expire you can you can set the expiration for your backup set you can set it for a okay on if you set it for tomorrow tomorrow it will be expired guys what is the meaning of expiration tell me expired means what usage of the product uh... correct okay so if the backup is expired the file will be there okay but you cannot make use of that file you cannot restore the expired backups guys Usually we don't set any expiration for backups. We'll keep it as it is. Okay. But the meaning of expiration is, okay, the file won't be deleted. File will be there, but you cannot restore the expired backups. Okay. So we don't use Spencer, it. Guys. What will be the use for that expired? Nothing. Data? See, if you don't want, if you don't want to make use of this backup file after one week or two weeks, you can set expiration for the safety purpose, security purpose. imagine so will it you, occupy the space of course of course the file will be there i said the file will be there nothing happened to your file mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the file won't be deleted the file will be there but you cannot make use of that file you cannot restore it once it is expired okay so expiration means it don't think it will be deleted it will be existed but you cannot make use of it's the same products product for example medicine expiration date is there that means after expiration date the medicine will exist but you cannot make use of it food the food will exist might be it will be decomposed but you cannot eat it it will be it will be there but it won't be useful in the same way if you set expiration the file name will be there the file will be there but you cannot restore that particular file okay so this is how it is going to happen backup set expire usually we don't ex set expiration for any backup so we will keep as it is we don't uh, change it compression guys compression is an excellent feature in the sql server for backups tell me is it is it good option to compress your backups or any performance issues will get can we, can we compress the of course we can compress the backup files you can see here but uh, is it good option to compress the backup files compression means it's like a zip file type correct is it good It's that concern. depends on the, the how much compress it will be. Okay, it's not good. Okay, so usually we have an assumption like if it was zip and all, if it was compressed and all, might be there is an issue with the file and all. So believe me, guys, backup compression is an excellent feature in the SQL Server, right? What what are the advantages of backup compression? Okay, so the advantages of backup compression is it is going to compress the backup first thing, compress the backup, not not 5 10% is almost 70% backup it is going to be compressed imagine i'll give you example 100 gb database is there 
if you don't set the backup compression on means if you don't enable the backup compression if you take the full backup of course 100 gb backup file will be created agree no doubt in this right everyone right sir right 100 gb imagine if you just turn on the backup compression for 100 gb imagine 20 to 30 gb file will be generated that is that is hard 20 to 30 gb how much percentage you are saving here 70 percentage in in some cases you can save 90 percentage for 100 gb database if you take the backup of 100 gb it will compress till 10 gb guys 10 gb you cannot even imagine 90 percentage of the okay uh, what we can say uh, storage, storage we can space. save yeah space we can save for 100 gb to write the 100 gb backup file uh, how much time it might take usually generally just guess it just guess it guys they will ask you guys this question they will ask in the interview how what is the biggest size of your database they will ask you okay so they will ask you what is the biggest size of the database you work you cannot tell 100 mb 200 mb 1 gb 2 gb guys you have to tell 2 terabytes 3 terabytes database okay you can tell don't tell less than 100 um, 100 gb and all but 100 gb is also not a reasonable size more than 1 tb 2 tb you have to tell so 100 gb backup file usually it will take how much time to write this backup file generally 100 gb means around um, for full backup right uh, it will take um, one hour one hour or one to two hours okay one to two hours it will take in the same ratio how much time it will take for 20 to 30 gb guys in the same ratio 20 percentage of one hour how much 12 minutes okay 12 minutes to 20 minutes imagine how much time you are saving guys here where is 1 to 2 hours where is 12 minutes to 30 minutes or 1 hour where is 1 hour where is 12 minutes how much time you are saving again 70 to 80 percentage time you are saving you are saving 70 to 80 to percentage of storage you are saving 70 to 80 percentage of time ultimately you are saving 70 to 80 percentage of amount guys revenue agree so backup compression is an excellent feature we'll use backup compression don't think uh, there is no drawbacks with the backup compression guys you can happily go for backup compression it's an excellent feature so it will it will it will it will use less storage to take the backups and 90 percentage of the storage you can save 90 percentage of the time also you can save writing 100 gb backup file okay will take more time or writing 20 gb backup will take will take more time 100 gb of course 100 gb if the file size is big it will take more time to write the file if the file size is small it will take less time to write the file so we can save the storage we can save the time we can save the money guys so that is the uses of backup compression so by default use if you see here set backup compression if you see here okay use the default server setting where is the server setting go to server and check it whether server is enabled with backup compression or not go to settings server i mean like server settings go to database settings there you can see compress backup is enabled or not if you enable the backup compression again no need to choose here automatically by default use the default server backup now what is the default server backup setting guys compression is enabled or not not enabled now 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 enabled. now it was enabled right if, enabled. if i uncheck it was not enabled if it was if i if i just checked it was enabled okay so it depends use the default server settings means on the server level if you enable the backup compression so your your, your backups will be taken with a compress if you don't enable the server level compress backup option okay uh, it won't take with the compress guys if you use this option but during backups also you can choose compress backup do not compress backup but generally we'll enable this backup compression okay and then we'll keep it as it is we don't change it now the backup compression is enabled at server level so what we are saying use the default server setting as per the default server setting compression is enabled so it will take the backups with compression guys that's it click ok you can generate a script of this action you want to see what is the backup script just click on script option it will generate a script in the back end and in the meantime you can click ok guys 
now it is going to take the backups backup status you can see here how much backup percentage is completed you can see here if anyone observed or not 10 20 30 like that very 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 fast it was changed to 100 percent why because the database size is small if it is big you can see the difference okay click okay that's it guys your backup is generated now you can see here this is your full backup file okay so you can use your query also to take the full backup what is the query guys backup database database name to disk is equal to okay let me enter it will go to the next line okay to disk is equal to this is the path guys path this is the path okay to disk is equal to path and this is the file name so can i run this query again or it will throw any error for me what is the size 458 kb okay now tell me can i run this query again it will take the backup to the same location guys with the same name to the same location it will take the backup so can i run it or it will throw, it will throw the error as the backup file is already there can i run it tell me guys can i run it or not run it here. will it throw any error guys overwrite no, it will not throw any error. So, what is the size? 458KB. If it is overwrite, means again 458KB only you have to see, right? So, let's run it. Let's execute it. Done. Okay, backup is completed. You can see at the end, backup processed successfully, backup database successfully processed this many pages. Go to here. What is the size? So, now tell me whether it was overwrite or what it did. Appended. 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 If you give the same name, it will be appended, guys. Okay. If you just change the name here, just I want to add one. Okay. Uh, one small thing. I'll add the time. What is the time now? I'm running 806, right? So 0806. Okay. Or seconds. If you know the seconds, 20 seconds. If you execute now, now the file name is different. So it will create a separate file name. Okay. Again, 458 KB. If you if you give the same file name, it won't throw any error. It won't overwrite by default. It will append to the existing backup set, guys. Okay. So now you asked me, right? What is the difference between backup set and media set? So now tell me, guys. In this backup, how many backup files are there? Can anyone tell me? In this backup file, how many backup files are there? In this one, which is highlighted. How many backup? Only one. Files? Only one. Only. Which is called backup set. The file you can see with your naked eyes. That is your backup set. Only one file is there. Here? Yes, sir. Here? In this file? Two, two, two backup files. Two. Two that backup. is called media set. If more than one backup file, more than one backup set is existed, that is media set. Media set means collection of backup sets. Sir, when I restore this database, can I restore this backup using this file? Yes, okay. you can restore. No problem at all. But don't think it will restore two times. No, it will restore the recent one. Okay. So from media set also you can restore the database, but it will restore the recent one, guys. So this is how it is going to be applied. Backup set and media set. Reduces the backup time. Will the compression the same? Of course. Of course. Yes, Sudhir, it will, it will, it will do that. Why? Because the decompression, there is no concept of decompression. If you don't enable the compression, that is a decompression. That's what we discussed. If you don't enable the compression, what will happen? That's what we discussed. Okay. So this is how it is going to take the backups, guys. This is your backup set and this is your media set. Media set means collection of backup sets. Media set means collection of backup set, guys. Okay. So this is how we are going to take the backup. The query is you can see very big query right very big query you can see right chalo let me write this query like this okay i'll i'll delete this or else let me write one more query for sales database backup what i want to do i what what backup i want i want a database backup which database sales database to which location disk is equal to okay single quotes sales underscore what is date today okay full full backup the type of backup is full backup underscore guys here you can give any name sir is it mandatory that you are giving database name underscore full underscore date you are giving 
okay is it mandatory no it's not mandatory you can give your own name you can give mahesh babu you can give pawan kalyan you can give any name no issues you can give your own name itself no issues this sales database will be backed up with your name that's it that is the only thing okay so i can give my own name but i am just following the standards okay what what backup it is full backup on what date we are taking we are taking on 12th april 2022 dot bak tell me guys can i can i can i execute this statement now is it successful or it will be failed no it will be failed what is missing from this statement tell me tell me guys how many of you are agree to it will be succeeded and it will be failed okay tell me yes means successful no means it will be failed guys answer answer like just send your message in the chat whether it will be successful or it will be failed if i execute this query come on guys only 10 people responded till now Twenty, twenty-one. Four more. Three more people has to respond. Okay, I guess these three people are sleeping. No problem. you can sleep okay no problem right so let me check the answers guys so here uh, by default yes santosh said by default yes path no. by default you know yes aithe yes and heralal said yes yes sudindra yes pradeep said no vamshi no vinod no shravani says fail and shiva no 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 yes successful fail yes yes fail no 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 okay done fine guys so let me execute this now okay we'll see whether it will be successful or it will be failed okay it will be disconnected first of all okay so if i gave the file name straight away without giving the path okay so what would be the result guys so it won't failed it will be successful okay let me execute this now done now if you want to see go to the location sales full backup is there i didn't mention this path but still it was successfully executed why why because this is the default, default path, path. this is the default path if you don't mention the backup path by default it will it will take into this location okay by default your backups will be taken to this location guys this is the default path c program files microsoft sql server instance root directory ms sql backup folder this is the default location so for default if you if you decided to take the backups to the default location no need to mention the path straight away you can give simply you can mention the file name by default it will go to the default location guys okay if i execute again with the same file name if i execute the same statement you can see 461 kb right if i execute again with the same file name okay how many times you want that many times you can execute now you can see the size is changed to 921 again you can execute again it will be added one more 500 460 one kb will be added how many times you are going to execute that many times okay it will be executed successfully but the thing is every time when you execute the size will be increased guys see here 4601 kb okay keep on increase it guys so if you give the same file name it won't throw you the error simply it will be appended to the existing backup set but there is a challenge here very big challenge i cannot delete the old backups from here right old backup sets i cannot delete either i have to delete the complete file if you delete the complete file current backup set also will be gone so that's why we don't prefer giving the same name to the same location okay we will we'll change at least one thing at least i am going to add underscore 2 or something like that okay so at least if you change the file name again it will create a new backup set so that it won't create any issues guys underscore 
if you if you just add one more character automatically the file name will be changed guys okay this is how it will work okay so if you mention the without path also you can take the backups but it will go to the default location sql server by default who will add the path backend sql server will add the path when you execute this query there is one when you execute this query don't think the same query will be executed no sql server will add some parameters like path and all if you see here these many parameters are there i didn't add anything but still how it, it just took the backup sql server will add some parameters while executing this query then it will execute the query this is how the query will work okay guys so this is your full backup full backup again will take the backup of all your files including data files and log files any questions any doubts in the full backup no questions chalo if no questions i will ask you one question yes please sir do we uh, need any particular permission for the data this no backup? you should be either sys admin or backup operator the part of dba team correct you should be part of dba team right sir ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ okay uh, uh, configurations you can select the script option i want to show how it will work in the back end okay there is no use you can directly click okay but you have to know right whether you once you run the once you click on the okay button this query will run in the back end you should know right what query is running in the back end right so for that purpose i just shown you that script but there is no use if you want script you can generate a script like that also okay any other questions guys sir you have when you compress a backup okay the file size and the time used right sir mm -hmm. and when you try to restore the same file that does it does will it be faster just because you have compressed correct, the file correct that is true that is true so okay that, when you that, restore that also means, it will be faster okay so that means an uncompressed file will take a longer time correct correct okay okay sir thank you yeah sir can we change expiry date after completing backup no 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 that is not possible Uh, once backup is taken you cannot change the expiry date right okay let me ask you one important question guys okay so imagine that is a big database it took almost 2 hours to complete okay 10 o'clock i started the backup guys by 12 it is going to be completed now at 11:45 100 records are inserted into the database at 11:45 100 records are inserted into the database it is going to be completed at 12 o'clock actually backup is still running but some inserts some transactions are inserted okay during the backup period right now tell me guys is this 100 records are part of the current full backup file or not already backup started at 12 already backup only. started at 10 o'clock and it is going to be completed at 12 o'clock but 11 10 11:45 uh, or 11:49 100 records came into the database now are these 100 records part of the current full backup or not no there was no any answers from everyone guys please type your answers in the chat yes or no okay so let me check guys 
so sanjay said yes 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 swamsi yes saket no shiva yes no 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 hernandar yes sanil kumar no 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 yes guys you have to send the answers to me directly guys not to the everyone okay just set it to me change it to me okay right okay so some someone said yes someone said no okay so the answer is yes guys okay until the backup is going to be completed until the backups backup is going to be completed whatever data is coming into the database all those transactions are part of the current full backup file or current backup file 12 o'clock right it is going to be completed till 11 59 59 seconds 59 minutes 59 seconds whatever transactions are coming inside that particular database all the transactions are part of the current full backup file guys so it will take the backup of your data files it will take the backup of your log files complete all the files it will take the backup so by the time if your transactions are in the log file still it will take the backup of your log file okay and those records that are inserted at 11 45 are part of the current full backup file once backup is completed if any transactions are inserted those transactions are not part of the backup why because backup file is already written okay so until the backup is going to be completed Either it is a one hour duration or two hours duration or three hours or five hours duration, whatever transactions are coming inside that particular database, all 